mid-range is over it was an exhausting three days and while it's not kind of you know it's not really the videos that i've done the last couple times as far as every string and what i was doing because it's harder when you have pull targets and you don't have electronic targets i've tried to just put together some snippets of different video i shot over the three days so you could get a really good feeling for what it was like and let me tell you the guys who won this absolutely killed it uh, top shooter only dropped 14 points over three days so when you see this video you can just sit back in awe of what he accomplished all right well opening morning 600 yard f class nationals they just sent everybody to the pits they're starting to hang flags probably start shooting in i don't know i'm guessing 20 minutes maybe and uh just a nice morning here in arizona so and if you've never seen the line you can see it it's uh 99 targets wide well i was on basically shot second and because of how the relays work it's been uh, i don't know almost two hours since i've shot and uh, conditions are definitely picking up here uh, this range can definitely be a challenge uh, this last couple relays watching everybody shoot you know there's been a predominant right to left and, and then a couple hard switches that have come in and uh, uh sorry predominantly left to right and then a couple hard right to lefts uh that caught some people you know i watched some guys shooting tens and x's and then all of a sudden lose a seven out the left or eight out the left and, and uh, not a lot but you know it can be challenging uh, my first relay to be honest was just horrible uh, you know really almost embarrassing given the situations um, you know I dropped way more than I should have but you know that's the game and you can only kick yourself so much and um, you know all I can do is go back out there and, and uh, try to give it give it some more and you know it's just just been a rough year so i'm just trying to trying to keep my head up and it's not always easy when you're around you know a lot of really good shooters and um, it's really easy for scores to get diminished very quickly here so we'll see what happens uh there's one more relay up and then i go back to the line to score so i'm probably another hour away from actually shooting uh, at this point but uh, we'll see what the conditions look like at that point and go from there all right, just finished that relay, and it was a mess. All right, we just finished up, oh, I don't know what it would be, uh, the last, first half of the last match. Uh, winds have actually kind of calmed down for the last couple hours, giving some people a break. It's, uh, you know, you can still hear it, but you know, it's, it's a solid eight or 10 mile an hour right now couple little gusts we just had a little dirt devil roll through or dust devil and uh but you know points are all over the place for everybody it's really been an erratic day so it'll be interesting to see how it shakes out at the end oh hell we just got here it is blowing this morning worse than yesterday Yeah, this is definitely rattlesnake weather. Oh yeah, we're moving here. 17, 18. ago uh we recorded up to about 23 miles an hour although it's dramatically dropped right now but man those gusts come in and uh it's just kicking up like crazy and uh like i said it's uh it's really variable you got four miles an hour three miles an hour and uh you know literally five ten minutes ago it was blowing 20 to 23 
so I'm sure we're just in a lull right now but uh, it's gonna come back and it's gonna be another hell of a day it's an interesting way to end the mid-range match <laughs>